Hey guys, Agent Casey G here, and today we are gonna be comparing two cameras. Uh, I recently got the A6500 for some live streaming, and my go-to camera for real estate photography was the, or is the Canon 90D, but I've been curious. Can the 6500 equal what my Canon 90D does? It's my go-to, it's my workhorse. I take thousands of photos with this one, but I wanna compare, see what this one does. Be sure to stick to the end, we'll have the results. And also this video will be in chapters, so I'm gonna set up the Canon, uh, get it set up, take the pictures, and then I'm gonna set up the Sony, get it set up, take the pictures. I'm gonna explain the settings I set up with each one. So you can, if you're curious about one over the other, just skip to those chapters, and if you wanna to skip to the results, that'll be in the chapter as well. Now here we go. Okay, first you set up your camera on a good sturdy tripod. This one I'm setting up on a Benro tripod, great legs, adjustable, it has a multi-functioning leveling system, which honestly I am trying to get used to, but I don't like it as much. I love the Manfrotto single ball head, quick and easy to use. But we're trying this out for about a week. I got it with my A6500 camera. If I don't like it, I'm gonna go back to the Manfrotto. So since this is my go-to camera, everything is set up already for real estate photos. I have infinity focus on my Rokinon lens. It is at F10. My ISO is at 100. I have automatic aperture and three brackets, plus and minus two. And I will set the Sony camera up in a similar way. Let me move it so I can take the picture. So I'll take this picture here, and then I'm going to move around, take all the other photos, then I'll switch over to the Sony. Okay, now we have the A6500 set up. Only took a while to figure out how to get the bracketing set up correctly. But now I'm gonna set this up in the same angles and take some photos. Here are the Sony settings. So ISO 100, the same. Didn't have an F10 option, so I did F11. I got the bracketing, minus two, plus two, aperture automatic, and uh, we are good to go. Sony has a 1.5 crop factor. I have the Sony lens set up at 10 millimeter, and it actually does show a little more of the room than the 1.6 crop factor on the Canon. So we will see a little bit of a difference there, maybe a larger picture, uh, or wider anyway. We'll see how it turns out in editing. And uh, let's get to taking the Sony photos. Bonus, if you stuck through the video this long, give me a like, subscribe, bell notification for more videos. But I thought, let's test out the iPhone. This is the iPhone 13 Pro Max, has the wide angle view. Let's take some photos with that and let's compare all three. All right, let's compare the Canon 90D, A6500 Sony, and the iPhone 13 Pro Max. First up is the Canon 90D, my go-to camera. You can see everything looks nice and crisp and focus. You have the windows, they're not blown out. Nice greenery, everything outside is in focus. You can see this plug, everything looks good. The reflection. The detail, lights look great, everything looks good. Not bad, people love these photos. That's why I use this camera, Just check out the Sony. Now this is the first time I ever used the Sony for real estate photos and it looks pretty good itself. A little less detail in the background, but again, this is the first time I used the Sony, so it could have been you know, the way I set it, the focus I used, uh, but it looks, just as good uh, as the detail. You can see the plug, the lights look good, maybe a little bit fuzzier compared to the Canon, but uh, nobody would notice in, in, uh, in, in real, real life, I guess. So the Sony looks amazing, great, nothing blown out. It is a little bit wider. You can see on the left over here, 
right above my head, you can see these knobs. And then on the right, you can just see the edge of this window. On the Canon, you got the edge of the window and no knobs over here to the left. Again, the Canon makes that 10 millimeter a 16 millimeter lens and the Sony makes that 10 millimeter a 15 millimeter lens. So you just get a little bit of a wider shot, but they're floor to ceiling, pretty much the same. Can't even tell the difference really when I switch from one to the other. The lighting's a little bit different, but this, again, their settings are all the same. Looks pretty good. Now, let's check out the iPhone. I know some people are waiting for the iPhone results. And here they are. First glance looks pretty good. First glance, that kitchen looks smaller somewhat. And at first glance, my editor kind of screwed up an edit right there. He forgot to, he missed these cabinets, but doesn't really matter. A look at the detail in the window, detail in these lights or lack of detail. In this shot, the first glance, you know, everything not in the windows, not in the far background looks good, but the detail as you zoom in isn't there. It's, it's a passable photo, um, for the most part, but you can't charge people for this, for these photos. Uh, the iPhone 13 did a pretty good job. Pretty good, uh, wide angle. It's a wider than the Sony was. And uh, taller, you got a lot more ceiling. I set up the same tripod, same angle, and look how much more ceiling that iPhone comes up with. So you could easily crop this down. I bracketed these shots, had my editor edit it, and you cannot fix things like that. So if you're trying to decide which camera to go with, uh, the A6500 would be my choice if I was going to buy one right now because it does amazing with video as well. Very crisp video. Uh, get the 10 to 18 zoom lens uh, with the Sony lens, with the Sony camera. And uh, that'll cover you most cases. Maybe get a 50 millimeter on top of that for any uh, artistic detailed shots you might need in your real estate photography. Uh, I love my Canon 90D. Does a lot of great photos, but the Sony is a little more versatile in what I'm coming to learn in uh, the various things that I do with live events, real estate photography, and things like that. The can the Sony, based on what I just did with these photos, can handle it all. If you like this video, be sure to like it. Please subscribe. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. Thanks. Just noticed I forgot to move that camera. I have to retake that shot. Set that camera up, go around, take all those photos. You can uh, take pictures. Um, you can uh, 